Your ride back home, Boxy, is just gone, sorry to say. Yes, which is the 1550, isn't it? Yes, that's the one. I think it's his backing play he's done well. We'll have some run on it. I have to say, that's a fair effort. That was a nasty spot. Yeah. Had to take his medicine. Done a really good job with that second shot. I've got to say, putting himself in the prime spot here. Well, he didn't get hold of that. Yeah, it's not what Gary was looking for, unfortunately. A little bit of left to right in this putt. All feeds off to this right side where uh, Waring's hit his shot. He's got an extremely slow putt up the hill. That was a good putt. That was a shame. Face well open. He's obviously sliding across this one. Looking for some height. A bit of spin. Superb. Oh, Very nice. Very good. Paul Waring. Superb, he says. Of encouragement from your playing partner. That's nice to hear. Well, follow that one, Gary. That was a great ball flight from Waring. Yeah. Showing him the way to do it. Well, they like it from behind, and so they should. Two beautiful shots. High quality. Yeah, that's important for Gary. He just has to get off the quick, quick start, so he looked to roll that one in. Do with a little something, couldn't he, Gary? It's been a slightly shaky start. And that'll help. First birdie today for the Frenchman. So he's back where he started at nine under. You want to favour the left, really. I'll go down the right, it'll be reachable, but the one. Far left, you won't. Yeah, yeah. yeah swing, right. swing there, like a little sawn off finish to keep a wee bit lower into that wind. They're not the left, one, yeah. Yeah. Well, Gary, I can play this totally differently. He's super aggressive and generate quite a bit of spin from this light. Coming in low, one big hop, and I'm sure a big stop. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done, back-to-back -back birdies So Gary Eight, he moves up at 10 under par, that's the tie for second. Well, six, all the force 444 are not playing anything like that, straight down the breeze, you've got to be, this ferry is pretty generous, you can go down the right half of it, that's a good line in from there. Need a hit driver just like this man didn't. Yeah, he looks like Guria actually starting to feel comfortable out there. It's taken him an hour or so, but now he looks like he's into his stride. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I get it. But we got a little upslope here, it's making it a little bit difficult. Pins back right now. If you go a little bit long, online bit right, it will feed down onto the green. As you call it, 144 to down a little bit. Yeah, that was quite difficult to be up slope. Yeah, just like that, Johnny. Spot on. Spot on. Well described, both of you. Yeah, straight up the hill box. He can make it three in a row. Oh, and he had done excellent stuff from Gary. I reckon he's got to take a little bit off an eight iron. He could go full bloom with a nine if he wants to. As you can do with that pin tuck there, you keep away from those three deep bunkers and just give yourself a 12 feet across the green. Rocking the pencil grip, so that means he's working the back of the left hand towards the target. Ooh, cool, we've seen some people run it, some players rather, run it by from that side. Must be a bit of a downslope past that hole. You can hit iron down the right, but no need to. It's a tough cookie. You can over-dominate with driver. 426 yards. This par four. This will be a lob wedge in for your second if he nails it. Mm. 
Christmas, really, if too easy. Got on the CD Blue DP World board out. Yeah. On him. A bit. Well, 72 yards here, Don, and the pin's on the seven. I don't think you can fly it all the way on the green and stop it quick enough. Can't pitch it in the bank just shy. We've seen a, a, a few players do that. They pitch it in that bank from that distance and it just pulls up straight away. Gary A. There's a lot of work to do here for his part to remain one in front. No problems. And after a slightly shaky start, he's done well, hasn't he? He's recovered his composure. Those three birdies from the fourth hole given him the lead so maybe a favorable breeze out there you can find out more about the uh, Fortinet stats at our website dpworldtour.com that's a heck of a shot isn't it yeah it is that was a great shot had to get it up quickly off of that revetted face open the club face attacked it nicely That is. Lead of a tournament to come up with a bucket shot like that. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, anything can happen, Don. This wind is going to pick up. I can tell you, bleak clouds in front of this hole on 13, up the hill. Out with driver. Worked well on the last hole. This one's skirting to the right, and the wind's got it. That's up on the bank on the right hand side. You'll be able to see the flag from there. Finishing on that so yeah, TV, yeah. yeah. He's taking a little, little hop and scotch up to the brow of the hill and he's got a good line on it. Got about 110 yards to go. Oh, this one flying nice. That's a good shot, John, isn't it? Off the heavy upslope. Yeah, class shot. Yeah, did well. Well, up a putt here, a little drift off the left hand side for Gary. Good chance of birdie. Yeah, oh, what a putt that is from Gary. Start with a drop shot of the first. But he's really on a run now. Look at that, four birdies from that. He's looking really good. Taking them on. Side. Is it cleared that bunker? No, whether you saw that, John, did you or not? No, he's straight in that right hand bunker and yeah. that went in at pace. That could be up against the face, Boxy. Tried it down, Julian. He has. Oh, how about that? Little by Paul Waring at the 12th. Control did the same on five, hit it in nice and low. Late check came to an abrupt halt, slot it in there. Can he do it here? Nothing in this whatsoever. Julian okay. Guerrier maintains his one shot lead with four holes on the third round of the Gazoo Classic to play. Rattled in that par, but a 14 dangerous hole out of the way. Your eyes are burning into hoping he's going to find it. Someone's saying go. There's just a little fall off, isn't there, on that right hand side, so I'll have to factor that in. It's not the putter, it is the wedge for Julian Guerrier at the 16th. Green just sort of tilts away from him. So he needs to be hit with some authority. A nice touch for our leader. Guerrier out with driver, no brainer. A little bit leftish. 
That was down the left hand side by the trees, yeah. chaps, and oh, that could be nasty. Yeah, I'm not sure. Needs to commit to this, which is never easy. Dashes forward. Where's it going? Where's it going? Oh, ho, ho. how about that? What a shot that is. Simply stunning. Nothing else to say. Yeah, some shot to him. Now, this would be an eagle and a half. He knocks this one in. A little bit more down the hill for Gary. Breaking off the left. Oh, great pot, Graham. That's another good effort. But he got a little read off Warren. <coughs> Waring's put. Here we are, out with. The old hybrid, good shot, good club this. Right half of the ferry, cut loose, jobs are good and should be landing on the downslope, gain a couple of extra yards. Perfect now. He's looking quite nice down onto this green, coming in from a better angle than Paul Waring. Same fate, I'm afraid, for Judy and Gary. Eight. Look at that Paul Waring's reaction there. It looked like the wind switched. Oh, he's looking skyward as well, Gary. Eight. Both opting to putt here. Don't both opt in a putt furthest away. Gurrier, up a steep slope, will sling off his right once on the green. Sounds like he's just raining again. Randy, come. Right to left as he thought. That's a shame that second uh, drop shot of the day for him. He bogeyed the first and he bogeyed the last. Threw five birdies in in the middle. Round of 69, but he goes into the last round instead of being a couple ahead. He's just the one ahead now. Julian, let's start with the 17th. You took your time over that second shot. What was the decision there? It turned out to be one of your best shots of the round. Uh, I mean, we were not sure about the, the win, uh, if it was helping or, or into the win. And uh, we, we think we were a little bit helping. At the end, it was not, because I was thinking it was a perfect shot, uh, just short. And, uh, and after, uh, with the rain, uh, the grass is a little bit uh, humid, so the, the putt is slow. and. Uh, and I stay too short. No, you bogeyed the last there, but in the end, happy with around a 69, most importantly, one shot lead. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm really happy about the, my game today. Uh, I'm struggling a little bit uh, today on the, from the from the tee, uh, but I manage uh, good from the rough. Uh, I hit some really good shots uh, on 17, on uh, on third, on the 13. So, yeah. if we must, chasing your first win out here, how do you manage those emotions tomorrow and focus on the task at hand? Of course, it's going to be emotional, but uh, I will keep my plan. Uh, I want to hit uh, fairway, green, and and try to hold the putt. Given your history of Lynx golf courses, though, it would be nice to break through on a Lynx course, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I love to play Lynx, so everybody knows that. So I'm from a town, uh, La Rochelle, where it's uh, very windy, so I love to play into the wind. Well, we wish you the best of luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.